be quiet because it's really early. I'm gonna let my family sleep in today. They're all not feeling very well. Yesterday, Asher and my husband had fevers and it, I don't know what we ate or what we did or if it's just the season, but everybody's not feeling good. And there is one of my boarders that has a horseback riding lesson this morning and we need to make sure that that particular horse gets fed just a little early so he doesn't go to his lesson on an empty stomach. So I'm gonna pop over there and do the barn by myself. It's kind of crisp morning. I think it rained just a little bit. I wanna make sure that the footing that we put in the stalls is holding up how it should, um, and, or if I need to add more, things like that. So we're gonna get to the barn and we're gonna get this done. Grab the bite to eat first because I can't work on an empty stomach either. <laughs> okay, it's so cold out here. <sighs> So I gave this to Jonathan for Christmas. <laughs> he hasn't worn it yet. <laughs> I've worn it like four times. <laughs> Burr! Oh. oh, it's nice and cozy. Maybe I should get me one. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should get him one. <laughs> okay, so it rained last night which means it's gonna be kind of muddy. So I'm gonna to have to throw on some barn boots in order to get the critters fed. I would like to thank all of the viewers of the channel and big news, we hit over a hundred subscribers and I know that's small pittance for like every other channel out there, but you know how we did it? We have some loyal followers of the crazy pieces who asked if uh, they could have my channel and um, they came over and so I, hi guys, how are you? Okay, tell me who you are and where you're coming from. Yeah, I can't wait to see how far we've reached. So. The Tape and Mud guys were there yesterday for the second coat and they said that they needed to turn the heat on in my house. We haven't had the heat on because we haven't been living there. So um, I'll have to go in and see how that whole thing went down. Um, I would like to do a little bit of cleaning and sweep up the house a little bit. It's it's just easier to work in there when there's not stuff on the floor that you're tripping on. So if I can keep the workspace clean, that helps. So we had an escape artist. Mr. Doug opened his stall and he got all the way down here to Finn's stall and he turned on the water and it flooded and now Finn is underwater. So now I gotta go dig Finn under, out from underwater. Doug, what did you do? What did you do? We need to get you back in your stall. I know, I know. Let's get you back in your stall though. What do you think? Come on, come on. Let's go get back in your stall. Come on, get over here. What a twerp. Come on, Mr. Doug. We gotta get back in your stall. I can't believe you opened that. What a twerp. Hey, 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 uh-uh. You get to go back in your stall, come on. Come on, back in your stall. That's better. All right, let's fix that. Reinforcements. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay, so Doug got out last night and came over to Finn's stall and turned on the water. Oh, Do you see all the water going all the way out to the pasture? But not before he completely soaked 100% of the shavings in Finn's stall and Olaf's stall. So come over here and I'll show you. That's nothing but bedding over there. Yeah, it's not poop at all. It's just wet bedding. I've been killing my back trying to get this out of there. So do you want to grab the other fork and we can keep going? Move back, Electra. You swim in your grain, you goofball horse. Oh my gosh, look at how dirty you are. Look at this. You goofball. I read. I read. So I'm sitting down in the lobby doing a little editing and taking care of some stuff 
<laughs> and one of my boarders is at my house and he's having a party. So I jump on my cameras to see what's what. And April and Tilly are there and I recognize Jane's ponytail. Jane is over here from Florida and did not tell me. And so I'm gonna pop over there and I say hi to Jane. Jane's at my house and I didn't know it. I'm coming, Jane! Stay there! Where is she? Where is she? I'm over here! Jane! <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you? I can't believe you came back and you didn't tell me you were coming to my barn! Well, I wasn't sure that I was actually coming today and then I wasn't, I didn't even know I was coming to Arizona. Hold on! The fact that you were no longer in Florida and I didn't get a phone call? Oh yeah, you got stuck in that? I got stuck in Cleveland and so they didn't have any flights back to Florida on Monday when I was supposed to go, but they did have a flight to Arizona and I said, well, if I go home, I might as well do it with my husband and my dog. Right? So I was just here in, in, Mesa, in Mesa. My husband got stuck in Oakland. Yeah, that's terrible. He was going to Seattle and he had a layover in Oakland and he got stuck there and they're like, we might be able to get you out by Saturday. And he's like, I'll rent a car. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, so. Hey, slick hat. Yeah, well, no, nice. Okay, good morning. It's like 6 30. I was not expecting to be up for another half an hour. So I get a phone call from my contractor, Nate. And he, I, I love that he called me, don't get me wrong. Wasn't expecting for the texture people to be there today. And um, they need to be let in the house because they're afraid of the dogs. The dogs are in the house and they're barking and they are like we're not going in there and so i have to jump up and get over to the house and let them in the house <laughs> so i'm up and i didn't anticipate being up oh that makes me very tired all right let's go over there and let them in okay so that was crazy um the texture guy shows up and he says, but nothing's taped off. Nothing has plastic covering it, like the outlets or the doors or, you know, whatever. And so um, he was going to tape it off and, and then texture it. And then I said, well, my we just dropped the popcorn ceiling out of my master bedroom. And they hadn't gotten a chance to mud over the seams yet. And so he's like, I can't do that. He taped and um, put plastic up and then he left. And I'm thinking about noon or so, the uh, apparently a texture guy with a bigger texture gun is supposed to come over. And we are hoping that um, all of it can be done so I can get to painting. So we went outside to the back in the barn and everything was underwater. Um, the stalls, the round pen, it was just an absolute mess. So we picked up the manure out of the stalls and got that in the dumpster. We're gonna have to leave everything on the ground because we're expecting another storm tomorrow and there's no point in us taking wet shavings out and put dry shavings in just to have those soaked. So we're gonna wait till the big storm um, hits tomorrow and then we should have like six or seven days of sunshine. So hopefully that's enough um, to get that like dried up and stuff like we're that. We're taking Miss Tater and Miss Pumpkin to the hotel because they need some loves. And I just got a text from a friend of mine down the street and she has a cabinet that she wants to know if I want. Um, and so I'm gonna go look at that real quick and then we're gonna head over to the hotel because I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm super hungry. And then we have to get ready to go to the Pettits tonight. So, whew. So we are headed up to the Pettits right now. Alex is putting the dogs in the room. And the reason we're going up is because um, both of our families have been impacted by drug use. We're having both of our families go up and we're, we have invited a friend of mine, Rick. He's actually my horse trainer. He and his daughter started the Alexander Neville Foundation. Um, his grandson, Alexander, was at home during COVID for 2020 and was having trouble sleeping and talked to a friend of his who put him in touch with a drug dealer who got him some Oxy. Um, and this Oxy happened to be laced with fentanyl and um, it had enough fentanyl to kill five <coughs> people. Yeah, so we're headed up there. Okay, once again, what I love about the Pettits is your, your family. 
At least I am family. So I don't knock. I just go in. Um, he'll sink so we have to get a tractor out here and Tilly doesn't like that at all so now he's gonna go and get that um, trailer right there and back it up and put it over here what are you doing four buying on the hill okay so we are getting gravel delivered today thank goodness my husband did this for me because this hallway right here is just so muddy every single time we even do anything with it. So we've got, to, we've got to build that up and make it a little bit more solid. We should probably add something to the um, stalls, but not right now. So here he comes. It's ABC, so it's meant to be able to be compacted underneath concrete slabs. We're not going to be able to get the wheelbarrow through there. We will if he comes back far enough. This is ABC fill, not rock. This is dirty gravel. This is like, this is not looking at That's not gravel, that's just like dirt. <laughs> Everybody. Okay, so I wasn't loving my tile in my bathroom um, and I just couldn't put my finger on it. And we came down to Arizona Tile last week to pick out countertops and I had to walk through their tile showroom and so I'm like, you know, Arizona Tile's got to have something. And so, meet Josie from Arizona Tile. She was fabulous you guys I'm gonna put her information in the link below come and see her she was so good and so patient with me because multiple times I'm like there's just something I can't put my finger on and she's like okay let's try this let's try that and she just we just kept working on it until we found it and I literally this weight has come off my shoulders because I feel so much better about the choices that I made but I'm not gonna show you what I chose it's gonna be a secret Definitely it's gonna be that's gonna look so good I'm so excited okay all right so now I have to go and load up everything that I got from floor and decor and take that back not be because there's anything wrong with floor and decor I just like Arizona tile a little bit better <laughs> anyway so anyway thank you so much for your help and your time you're so awesome all right let's go Okay, so we have Sister Scholes and Sister Babcock, um, and they are going to help me paint today. I'm so excited because we are having so much fun. We've gone to um, get breakfast at the hotel, which was super yummy, and then we ran to Home Depot to get a shield so that when I paint my ceiling, I don't accidentally paint my walls too. Um, and then we're going to tape everything off and then paint everything up. So hopefully the tile guys can get in sooner rather than later. So super excited. We're going to have so much fun. Um, probably am not going to be able to fill most of it because I'm going to be in a monkey suit and I won't have anywhere to set up my camera where it's not going to get filthy. Ready ladies? Ready. Let's go. Okay. This is why you have teenagers to figure out how to run your paint sprayer. I don't know what an engaged trigger lock means, but you wanna know the funniest part of the day? <laughs> These two little marshmallows over here. <laughs> Sister Shaw, <laughs> stand up, I gotta I got see your marshmallow. Get up, that's awesome, look at the booties. 
I love the booties. Okay, so apparently now I get to get in my marshmallow costume. <laughs> I'm at Floor and Decor waiting for another uh, tile to get pulled and put in my truck. And Alex is over here, bored. So he finds something in my husband's truck and he, you know, those look like rings. And so he's going to put it on his hand. <laughs> and it gets stuck. And he can't get it off his fingers. And now he's too embarrassed to show you. <laughs> let me see it. Come on, let me see it. You're Stretching them. Like Let me see it. Ah! Let me see it. Stop. Let me see it. Go away. Let me see it. Look. Let me see it. I'm getting out of the truck now. Shut the door. <laughs> He's hiding. Do you see this? Okay. So this is what he did. <laughs> what is this? Like, it's, I don't even know what this is for. I'm but being he thinks, forced against my will to show you guys. <laughs> just to he let thinks you know. that there's glue underneath of the. I just. And now he's searching the truck for something that can help him. There's a wrench come back here. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> What'd you find? A wrench kit. Oh. There might be like a crescent wrench in there or something. You mean you hope there is? <laughs> yeah, I do hope there is. Yeah. He finally got it off. Not yet. It took two tools. Oh, it's not off yet? No. He got the bolts off at least. There was glue. See right there. Yuck. Mm. What was that for? It's a pipe clamp. Gross. Oh, gotta put it back together. Well, okay. <laughs> it had to have two tools. You better put those back in Dad's toolbox. Yeah. <laughs> so what have we learned? <laughs> don't stick your fingers where they don't belong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a nerd. My little marshmallow women, don't they look like me? See, there's no identity theft here because I don't know who you are when you're dressed like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Okay, so we've done two coats on everything except the pantry. Uh, because when we did the first coat, we didn't realize that we hadn't taped the lights. So we jumped in there, taped those, and uh, so everything is done on the ceiling. So... Um, we're going to pull all of the tape off the lights so we can see what we did.
active. Okay, hold on. So I, I reach up to this light and I pull all the tape down, okay? And this sweet sister is like, I wish I could do that. And cause she's short. And I told her to come into the shorter hallway so that she could feel tall when she pulls it down. So look, pull. Now do you feel tall? Yeah. <laughs> There's another one you can do down there. <laughs> And I think I saw, do you see right here on the ceiling? I think I missed a spot. Oops. I'll have to get that with a roller brush or something. So it is 9.30 at night. I've been working all day long. I'm so tired. The sister missionaries got, uh, gave me a really good head start but I wanna show you how far I got. So everything's got a first coat, but I wanna show you what, how different it looks. It looks great. Okay, so here's the bathroom. And now you can see everywhere that it's not painted is gonna be tiled, okay? So, and this gray is called grayish. It's like beige, but gray, okay? It kind of looks blue in the camera, I don't know why. Um, so I haven't been able to do the hallway yet because that seems to be like the landing spot for everything. It's really ridiculous. I don't have a lovely light in my bedroom. Let me see if I can get this light in the closet. There we go. So this is my accent wall, which is darker, which I love. And I think I might do that accent wall somewhere else as well. But here's my closet. I did not um, paint that bathroom. I don't quite know of what scheme I'm gonna do, but I also did this wall and this wall. However, I did not do this wall. What's happening here is the paint, there's so many layers of paint, it is so thick, it's coming off like wallpaper. Look at that, okay? So I think I'm gonna strip this section, retexture it myself, and then repaint it. So I'll do that when we come back home, I think. So here's the hallway. Got all this in here. And the laundry room. Okay. We got some stuff cleaned up a little bit. I do still have to do the um, trim and um, up top most places. I haven't cut in, but I'm just, I'm so tired. I just wanted to get the paint up, honestly. Um, I did cut in here, which that looks so good. All that's cut in by hand. Um, I would like to turn that fan off, but I don't quite know how. So normally the way we turn off the light is we take this off. I'm wondering if that, that is the fan. Look at that. Okay. Turn off the lights. Okay. So, and then here's my mess that I need to clean up, but it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Everything vital has already been cleaned up. And then here's the pantry. So it is making progress. We are getting there and I'm so excited, but I'm also exhausted. So I am done for the day. Um, oh, here's a trick. This is my tray with all my paint in it. So here's a trick. Keep all your brushes inside. This is, this I don't care about, but keep all your brushes inside, okay? And then push the bag down and make it kind of touch your roller. And with no air getting to it, it'll stay moist through the night and you, you don't have to wash it out and it'll be ready to go tomorrow morning. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head home, shower, get changed. I've got paint all up in my hair. I'm hot, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. And that means if my kids were here, I'd be grumpy and snapping at them because I'm hot, tired, and hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna get all the lights turned off, get my monkey suit off, and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel. So I will see you later.